All right, you're live. All right. Um. So yeah. Uh, not a lot of people showed up. I'm really tired. I just woke up, so we're gonna kind of just wing this. Um. So obviously there are two new Sims that should be pretty easy to see. Um. KPC has attached, and they are using Gakio Ri as a buffer channel. sim. I'm not too happy with the way that the build looks right now, I'm going to be honest, because it's going to be kind of a nightmare for anybody to even bother trying to get across that buffer sim right now, so I'm going to talk to Haven about that. Like, there is no cover. Um, it looks like Alliance Navy's build from uh, 2012. Sorry, I was moving people. So I'm going to try to talk to him about that because, yeah, there's no way anybody's going to be able to attack KPC if uh, this is the sim that buffers them out. So hopefully he plans on doing more. Yeah, well, what, what were you saying about the, the sim? Uh, that uh, the buffer sim right now is uh, basically, it's uh, it, the way that it's laid out is a bad idea. It's, it's basically hey. Normandy. Yeah, I was talking yeah. about that. I yeah, there's no way anybody's going to even be capable of attacking you because by the time they get an APC up there, or something like that and get the people out of the APC, they're just going to get shot immediately. So no one's ever even going to get into that fantastic city build you guys have is kind of the problem you guys really need to... Okay, yeah, relay think. it to... Yeah. I guess this I can was... relay it to, to Haven, but... Yeah. Uh, it, I mean, it, it's... The, uh... Go ahead, Fallen. The idea I had was that... um. We take the slums that are in Samson and extend, extend them extend out a little them while. Into yeah, like because the the slums are on the southern border of it. Like that would be way cooler than what's going on. Mm -hmm. I also like if you guys are gonna have this big giant fucking no man's land. Normandy. I would like you guys to yeah Normandy exactly. I'd it's like you guys literally. to put a capture objective out in that uh sim so people can at least take that and... the idea he was having for it was okay. keep it this way which i i think this if nothing else it needs a shitload more cover out there um, yeah have fun never being attacked if you use yeah, this know, build for know, it yeah his idea was that and again i don't know how this actually works with the cc is that we'd be able to spawn in this build until they captured an objective then we'd have to spawn at the standard city spawn no but... you have to spawn in the standard city Okay, so yeah. that's something he doesn't know that needs to be yeah. made clear to him. Um, I can talk to him about it, but honestly, I think it'd be best if, like, you did, yeah. because then it'd be coming from Hadet, not from I'll Tume. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to him about yeah. it. Yeah, you guys have to spawn in your standard city. Anywhere in your standard sim is fine. You could spawn at the edge of the sim, but by setting your... Like, even if it was okay for you guys to spawn in Gakio Ri, which it could be, What's going to happen is you guys are going to get black screen to not be able to yeah. fall back should somebody take Gaki away. Well, so the know? plan I was telling him is, okay, if you really want us to be able to, you know, move out from uh, Gakio is... That your home's on the to, sim border. Well, I was thinking is yeah. have a, a teleport system from the... And again, I don't know the legality of this in CC. Yeah, you can use um, an inner sim teleport system. Yeah, That's teleport fine. teleport from our... Just, as, until that teleport gets, you know, captured and destroyed or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we already have that okay. stuff done. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I would do. Homes yeah. Can't be set in any sim, but. Uh, but your home sim. I mean, yeah. technically, you guys do. Well, you you own Gakio Re, but we paid for it for like a whole month, so you guys are getting a free ride off of it. So I'd I'd like a little bit of leeway in terms of telling you don't set your homes in Gakio Re because all it's going to end up doing is getting you guys black screen black because screen. there's yep. no. There's not a good spot for you guys to set your home in Gakio Ri to begin with, you know. Uh, what you guys really want to do is uh, fucking set up teleporters uh, to the edge of the sim border and jump over and shoot people and stuff. But there needs to be a lot more cover in that sim build, I'm going to be honest. We're going to try to attack you guys later today uh, when Haven gives the go-ahead. Yeah. And I'm going to show you guys how horrendously impossible oh, it's going to be to no, attack this is that like sim. The old, yeah. old, old Vanguard build where it was literally like Space Normandy, this is basically yeah. what it is. Yeah. Um, I told him if he wants to keep this, he really he needs to add like big ass boulders and all sorts of shit. Yeah. yeah. Or it's got to be changed. I think he's so waiting like, on some uh, stuff from Zane too. I know he's not done yet, so I'm not just gonna shit all over it just yet. Like it could end up being all right. But mm -hmm. uh, I kind of am in the same mentality as Fallen, where why not just extend the slums out? You know. Yeah, and I mean his whole, you know, canon mentality for this build is, well, if you look around the CC, we're the only place that's all green, and we've got a thriving city. So, you know, 
people have to come through this demilitarized zone and you know yeah which is fine but i yeah, mean you still, still you got to make your happen. sim attackable otherwise yeah. what's the point of having it there you know so yeah, we'll we'll try it out we'll see if it is a doable thing but uh if this build stays the way it is i'm going to fucking go ahead and uh give dread the go ahead on making the inner sim warp gate i'm going to be honest because that's going to be the only way that yeah. we'll be capable of attacking this sim other than it, APCs, APCs everywhere. Especially because, well, even with APCs, the doors that are in that sim. Oh, they, does he still have those fucking doors up? I haven't even really zoomed in yet. The big, the big heavy doors that lower into the ground. Yeah. I mean, I think they're cool aesthetic. Yeah, they're fucking, that's a cool idea, yeah. Uh, if he puts out some scripted objectives and crap to, yeah. like, take those down, that'd so be sweet. He was also talking to me about potentially scripting it so parts of the walls can be destroyed and stuff like that, but well, I yeah. still feel like there needs to be more cover for an attacker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, I mean, it looks decent so far. It blends really well. I'm not too upset with it. I just, like I said, uh, my major concern is how hard is it going to be to attack? You yeah, know? and I, I was actually telling him, hey, we should totally have, you know, like, uh, chaos attack later, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like we should test this later tonight when both groups have uh, people on. Um, all right, so that's cool. That's cool. Um, we'll play with it. I know Haven's always open to uh, suggestions, and he's not really, yeah, he's not going to be a pain in the ass about it. I just, like, I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, oh, no, this is 2012 CC with, uh, AN's build where they just fired flak cannons down the fucking hill the whole fucking time, you know. But uh with artillery and stuff like that, we can probably hold you guys out of that sim pretty easily, uh by setting up artillery in Desert Valley too. So uh Yeah, but I think if that's the only way that people can get through it's A to yeah, that kind of B sucks. that's gonna cause friction on the KPC yeah. side. Yeah. Well, yeah, the last thing you want is to be getting bombarded in your fucking uh buffer sim all the time, you know. Um, all right, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll play around with uh, this setup and see how that works. Um, the Outlands uh, build is going to be probably the next build that's done. We're going to lay out the build for Desert Valley. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the um, uh, the objective system is out. It does work. It breaks sometimes. The best way to get to an objective if you're uh, for anybody that lone wolves here, if you're lone wolfing, is to go to the sim that the objective is in and sit on that objective's uh, sit teleporter. I know they're fucking basic white prims right now, but that's because they're not in a permanent location or anything like that. They're just, we're testing it. The capture points seem to be working. Uh, we've had them break a few times. Uh, they do a lot of interesting stuff, so if they break, let us know. Tell us how you broke it, that kind of stuff. Um, Special one will be, hopefully, we're like a two days behind on special one because we had to rebuild our whole building making kit uh, because something was wrong with it. And hopefully that works now and we won't have that problem anymore and we can rebuild the buildings in special one and modify the build a little bit. Um, anybody got any problems with the have block spawn, like the big huge building in the center? Like, uh, uh, That's an ugly eyesore, man. <laughs> Yeah. It's uh, all right. No, it's good. Uh, well, yeah, the big reason why that's there is it, it uh, occludes sims from each other. So you never really have to render more than three sims at once while that's there. Uh, unless you're in Samson and then you have to render four. But, you know. Uh, if you're standing in the right spot in Gakio Ri or Samson, uh, the building is in the way and uh, you don't have to actually render uh, Chaos' sim, which is good. Um so that it helps with your render performance. That's why it's there. Uh, we are going to set up stuff in the upper floors and stuff like that. There's a bar on the second underground floor in uh, Italy Land 2. So like if you go up from the spawn, there's a bar people can hang out in. We're going to put a movie theater somewhere in there and stuff like that. So, um, Anybody have any problems with the way that the spawn system's working so far? Didn't think so. <laughs> Aren't I? Yeah. Like, I remember doing... I don't know, some of the spawn... There's one spawn you spawn, you're, like, in, like, a fucking ditch, and you, you have to, like, put a deployable or jetpack to get out of it. There's... Uh, the spawns are pretty much 70% random. Like, they just raycast down from the sky, so every once in a while you'll get a really shitty one. I know, but literally you have to, like, either jetpack or put a ladder to get is out. Is this, like, a know. set spawn? Can you show me where it is later? Oh, mate, yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, 
Because, yeah, if it's a spawn that's set in there, it might be in there from when we had a different build or, out or something, and that might be the problem. Or we okay. might have fucking copied the wrong teleporter over to the wrong place and just put the wrong texture on it. Like, that kind of crap happens, so it's not a big deal. Uh, Desert Valley is going to be kind of a slummy, rundown city area. Uh, to contrast how open uh, Ass Castle, which is Italy Land 2's name now, um, yeah, it's gonna contrast that. And once we get special one in Desert Valley and the Outlands done, uh, we're gonna rebuild, uh, Italy Land and Italy Land 2 because we know that it is fairly difficult to attack our sim right now, even though there is quite a bit of cover going up the hill. It's a very tall hill. I don't know, like... Is there any specific reason, like, I don't know if it's mentioned in a previous meeting, why um, the sim to, uh, like, next to your main base is like a homestead, I think? Uh, because full sims are expensive. Okay, okay, yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's why. I know, because sometimes, like, if you're, like, you're shooting, I don't know, it's like, from... oh, what's the sim that's in front of, um... Hi, I'm here. Alright, hang on. Uh, what What's the sim? sim in Yeah. Go ahead. Which sim? Uh, the one in front of Chaos is one. Oh, uh, it's... Italy Land 2. Italy yeah. Italy Land Like, sometimes the bullets, when you're trying to shoot them into the land to, like, your your base, they just don't go through the sim. Uh, actually, they are going through the sim border. Uh, what's happening uh, is uh, that's a bug in Second Life where the... When the bullet leaves the sim that it's in, the client doesn't get the die command for that bullet. So the the client doesn't receive a message other than that bullet hit the edge of world. And so the bullet just hovers on edge of world because it never got the die command for it. Those bullets are crossing the sim border. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's a visual bug. Um, I mean, I don't know what we can do other than uh, as a community, now that we're doing inter-sim combat again, file some tickets with LL and see if it can get fixed. But we're not a very important community and not a lot of people fire guns inter-sim. Haven. Hi. You gotta add some more cover to Gakio Re. You gotta put a cap. Oh, uh, excuse gold. me, this is D-Day? Yeah, I'm adding more cover. It's already right. been established. We're gonna do that. Okay, yeah, because that's gonna be impossible to attack right now, even if everybody had... I'm you putting know, in perspective of fleet ships and other vehicles being used. They don't get pulled out that often here, man. Like, uh, you, like there's no air cover. Like, if you guys were in that sim and we flew a hell, hell talent over there right now, we could just bombard the crap out of it, and vice versa if we were trying to attack it. There's, there's absolutely no means of attacking that sim, especially for, like, an attached military, too, because we got to go across four sims before we can even get to Samson. You know. Well, we are adding. The, I thought you guys capture. You guys are doing capture objective system. Well, yeah, we can still two. do that, but like you know, worst case scenario, you still got to go across four fucking sims, and the moment you step into that sim, you're gonna get shot because there's no cover. Like there's some. There's trees. a lot. If you, if, I've been checking out like all the views from the watchtowers and stuff like that. There's yeah. a lot of cover near the beachhead, but you have to like jump out, fire a rocket at the uh, watchtower to clear them out. Yeah, I just don't want to turn uh, this to turn into people have to bombard Gakio Re to get into Samson. That's my only concern. It's kind of what I wanted to do. I thought it'd be fun. Oh well, but if I'll... you want to get the sh the shit shelled out of you, then by all means, well, yeah, we're we can shell do that. It back. It's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be a huge shelling fest. All right, yeah. Well, we'll try it out. Uh, open it up for combat later after you get some more cover out, and let's test it. Yeah. Because it's gonna have to be tested. But I want you to put a capturable objective in that sim, but because of the fact that it looks like it's so hard to take, so. Alright, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. We'll okay. post the trees! I have an idea. I just want to voice with you on that, uh, Haven. You Wait, see the very, need more trees? Like, yeah, more trees and more rocks. Your sim? Make it look like Alliance Navy sim. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, anyway, go ahead, Dusty. But the, the corner, the western corner of the, uh, bay, water bay area, you could put, like, a warehouse there. I was thinking about doing like a taco shack or something stupid right there. Fuck that yes, be, fucking taco shack. Weenie like hut. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, we stands. could totally just put like a beach themed weenie hut juniors, and if you capture the objective behind our walls, you can spawn there. Yeah. Um. So the other thing is, these bridges probably won't work because they're right on the sim border. So you might just want to return. No, they're not. Them. No, the edge of it is over here. I think. No, it's you got you got some plenty of space across the bridge with. 
No, no, no I, hang on. I'll show you what Even so, those on. bridges that are currently out were designed to span uh, a symbol. Are they? Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, can I return the KPC is dead thing? Nope, because we're still dead. No, I gotta return okay. it so I can test this real quick. It's Phantom, but yeah, go for it. Yeah. I'll just take care of it. I just marked the sim crossing for you. Alright, move that prim because I'm testing something real quick. Alright. Um. Oh, yeah, you're good. Never mind. Don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah, hey, guys. I... Hey, what's Hi. up? Up. Um. So, yeah, I don't know. Um. Should be good. Uh, make those bridges destroyable, and that'd be a lot of fun too. Um, it's gonna make things hard because Aiden was was considering. I don't know if this. I don't know if this is gonna go through, but they wanted to do it. So if you're if you're not in a hover based tank and you just drive your tank underwater, you'll take damage because you're driving. Well, our tank tanks are amphibious. Like ours really? float on the water. Yeah, ours oh, float yeah, on the water. Fine. Then yeah, you're yeah. good. Uh, you want to put like a prim down there that uh fucking reses AT on people if they're yeah. down there? Yeah. That's what they asked me to do, and I, I was guess... afraid you'd be like, "Oh no, that's fucking gay." And I'm like, "No, oh. man, if somebody's driving a tank underwater, like make your tank float like a boat, you know?" Yeah. Um, the one one thing though that might be an issue with amphibious tanks is currently the break water, the big wall that they're. Uh, I... Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's yeah. probably not gonna yeah, allow it's... for. Well, no, we can squeeze a chimera through right here. Fallen, come over here real quick. Get in a chimera and drive it across over here, like where I'm standing. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if they're. I don't know if that's uh, something that they're going to continue filling in or not. That's what I'm. I don't know how we far. Know, I, I don't know yet. I'd um, leave a little bit of a gap. I'm going to leave some spots where people can just print up over or into stuff like that. Yeah. I don't want to be a complete fucking asshole, but I did want to make this into a doom fort just for giggles. Yeah, well, I mean that's fine, but yeah, just right now. Uh, wow, my frame rate's pretty fucking good, actually. I was, yeah, uh, I mean, can, uh, I'm people... getting, rendering both sims at, at max uh, draw distance, I'm getting 40 frames, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I'm pretty impressed that Calcutt's stuff was that efficient. Um, oh, yeah, that's yeah, it was Aiden, built for real quick, I'm so. able to, to just jump up the, the break wall here. Mo uh, some of the area right at its front should be raised up uh, shore-wise. Yeah, uh, yeah, like right that, here you can see underneath it. Um... Alpha All right, so that. yeah, um, we'll play around with that. We can do a test of uh, uh assaulting Samson today. We'll just we'll do that. Okay. Um, yeah, we can. Yeah, do that. let's uh let's move on uh from that. So like I said, the objective system is out. It works. KPCs used it. I think Rodini has been using it. Uh, if you want to register for it, I sent out a box called the Fat Girl Registration Program. Uh, oh, it's in the notices office. still. Uh, we're trying to find Haven a new girlfriend. So please yeah. shoot that box. Seriously, come on, guys. <laughs> Ain't that far. I mean, I mean, I'm living in America here. I can't yeah. find a chubby bitch. Um, so, yeah. So, bear in mind that uh, that box is out there. They're also down in the hub, uh, which is really good because you can just spawn in and shoot the box. And uh, every time you uh, shoot the box, it re-registers you. But you should only have to register once. Uh, the database shouldn't drop you. We back up the database twice a day, so everything sh should be good. On that no, wait, regard. sorry, sorry, just to clarify, so basically, you said um, we've already shot the box, so we're registered in the database. Yeah, you okay. never have to shoot it again if you registered under the group that you want to be registered under, but if you want to register under a different group or you're helping another group out, just go shoot the box again wearing their group tag, and you're good to go. Uh, what it okay. does is it just grabs the uh, group UUID off the object that collided with it, uh, like uh, the old CC's flag system did, but uh, our system's a little bit different. Um, when you take a point, uh, those white sit prims in the spawn right now, if you sit on them, it cross-references whether or not a group that you're registered owns the point, or if you captured it as a lone wolf, then it's just captured for you, and you can use that as a spawn. Uh, we know that they spawn directly on the center of the point right now. We're just testing them. Once they're done, they're going to spawn you away from the point, but within the vicinity of it, so you can still hold the point. You are still allowed to deploy your own personal teleporters out in the spawn. Just don't shoot each other in the spawn, please. Like, uh, you can't kill somebody standing in the spawn parcel, but don't shoot people or destroy their deployables when you're down in the spawn. That's kind of a dick move, you know? And if, um, uh, if you start doing that, I'm not going to stop somebody from griefing you over it. Like, I know nobody in here would do that, I'm just saying, for the YouTube video. Like, if somebody starts griefing you because you decide to destroy their teleporter entry out in the fucking hub... You know, that's on you. So, uh, go ahead, Dusty. Um, I don't know if you guys touched on this yet, but deploying as a lone wolf while in the military, not using that military tag gear or weapons, is that okay? No. 
So if you're in chaos and you're not using any tag, any weapons, or any uniform, you still have to play from cast to sim? Because you are yeah. in chaos or you are in KPC, people can see that you're in those groups and yeah. you your group will be held accountable for what you're doing regardless. That's how it is in the rest of the SOMC. If you go somewhere and you lone wolf, that's why all militaries usually have a taken NCO with you if you're not in your Jesse policy. You know? Someone made a huge stink about that today. Yeah. You can so, like just to clarify if you're in a military group and that group is attached don't fucking spawn from the center um neutral yeah you hubs. cannot use the neutral spawns um all right and it's because if you're doing something stupid it becomes minor haven's fault right now and well i mean in all honesty I, i'm gonna voice out against this a little bit i mean i'm all for people having fun if they don't want to do kpc stuff we're at, we're inactive we're not doing a whole lot and they just want to shoot around and dick around in the main neutral sims i don't see a problem with that as long as they're not wearing their tag if they're wearing their tag that. if they're wearing their tag and being a massive faggot then yeah report it to us and we'll deal with them internally in our yeah room. but the thing is that that's that issue is going to arise people are going to be like well kpc spawning out of the neutral spawn or shit like that like the like, we can have a vote about it on the forums. That's fine, but for the time I, being, I understand. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, this has been policy a fight. If yeah, it's, if it's a massive fight going on, and then all of a sudden you have like Corsi and Fox Trey taking off their tags and then spawning at the neutral spawn, shooting. People yeah, in the ass, we need to. Uh, we need to have a vote about it on the forums. Uh, yeah. we'll we'll flag this spot in the recording later. Um, and Nir, I don't care if you agree with them or not. You're in chaos, and uh, chaos will not be allowed to use the neutral spawns. So. Just ah, deal with it. Um, um, because of the fact that, like I said, if something goes wrong, the group you're in is always accountable for your actions in combat sims. Like, that's how it always is. Uh, no matter what, that's how the community views it. So, for the sake of the group leaders, like, uh, the best case scenario that I could even recommend people doing is uh, fucking re-registering their group as a lone wolf when uh they're attacking out of it if we do agree to let that happen but we'll do a vote on the forums given. yeah yeah i know i thought that would have been a given too but you never know um so we'll uh we'll work on that later uh we are gonna once we get the objectives and stuff out get the uh get the automated turret systems and shit like that out for the objectives to defend themselves so that it makes it harder for people to come back and take the objectives uh because right now the best way to hold an objective is to just lay a giant minefield inside of it and that can get kind of laggy because of all the sensors, so. Um, I think you mentioned this in passing for us, but didn't you say you can equate a uh, recruitment group to a group for the purposes of registering? What? We, okay. Yeah, we can make, uh, we can make recruit groups uh, equate to uh, your regular group uh, in the script. So like if you have a recruit group and you want people to be want it to equal the same group key as your main group so that your recruits can help you take objectives so we can work on doing that we haven't done it with our stuff yet but we will work on it so and just bear in mind that yeah if you have recruit groups and you want your recruits to be able to capture objectives for you because right now if they capture it for the recruit group then only recruits will be able to teleport through to that spot so we can fix that we just need info from people basically and uh that's just a little bit of uh you know bloat scripting that we have to add to it but it shouldn't really be a big deal the uh the check uh the http check for uh what group you're in and stuff like that is pretty quick so um that's decently easy to do i'm just testing this oh wow this is pretty far away from the sim border god these sim borders blend well never mind so i apologize about whining about the bridge earlier no worries yeah um so, um, <laughs> other than that, uh, scripted system-wise, we do have people working on public armory stuff now. Uh, I don't know what happened to Chris Xtar. I don't know where he's been, so no bad-mouthing right now. I know you guys have been having your own issues with that, but uh, we're going to have uh, we're gonna have to uh, ask somebody else to start scripting some uh, guns for the public armory. Dread no. and I are going to put the Venom out. Yam's going to be scripting some public guns, right, Tyro, or... Um, he expressed interest in it, but he definitely does need help with his gun cores because, like, there's still some unresolved issues where he's he's got them similar to our guns, but like he can't seem to reverse engineer some of the things we have. Okay, that's cool. Um, and then uh, I think that Tacoon. Uh, I could. Yeah, Sume. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, Tacoon's going to help us with some public guns, too. Just talk to Minus if you're a scripter and you're interested, or a builder and you're interested, because we do need some uh, some public armory assets. Like, uh, I've got some vehicle stuff that I was working on that I can uh, I can contribute to the public armory just to get it off the ground. Like, I'm uh, going to get a fleet ship out, a public fleet ship out and stuff like that. I have a tank killer ready to go as soon as Dred's willing to uh, mess with the scripts. Yeah, we just, you know, we were fucking trying to get the objectives to work for yeah, yeah, yeah. A, an eternity. Um, we are going to play around with some uh, drop pod systems as well uh, later on. Uh, so if once we get the drop pod systems done, we'll be, you know, giving people those scripts and tell, or, you know, fucking uh, GitHubbing the PHP communication scripts for them to work in or sim and stuff like that. So. Uh, that's about it on that. Uh, I touched on Desert Valley, how we're going to be building that into a, uh, like a slummier city kind of thing, less bombed out. Uh, special one is going to be pretty bombed out looking, like there's only going to be a couple buildings standing complete and they're kind of collapsed. Uh, as you can see from the placeholder buildings that we have out, those are going to be put back out with actual UV map textures on them. And then, uh, the Outlands is going to be a large nuclear reactor facility i believe uh so we might actually like uh extend your little uh river thing that's cutting across those bridges over there into the reactor uh room itself so there might be like a, a ravine going down that way as well um so anybody have problems with their stuff crossing sim borders like 2142 i know Hasn't really been here very much, but does you guys' stuff cross some borders? I just fixed that earlier uh, today. Cool. Um, so, the right, land so that's no, it should be alright now. Okay, cool. Uh, we have an update for like all of our stuff coming out in uh, four or five I... days, hopefully. Yeah. If anybody that's watching the YouTube video needs help getting their stuff to cross some borders, Chaos2142 or KPC can help you with it. Um... And AN. AN stuff's always cross some borders, so bear in mind. It's you it's only armored stuff that we have to worry about with that, so. Um we might hand out like a swim augment in the hub, uh, because we are thinking about adding some uh some voidscape sims. We just have to buy them in like packs of three or four, I think, right, Dusty? What's up? The voidscape sims, if we wanted to add some for like naval combat, we have to buy those in like packs of like three or four, don't we? Packs of four. Yeah, so we'd, uh, we'd end up getting four spaces, like, 40 more avatars we could hold if we get the Voidscape Sims for people to do naval combat. Um, the outposts that people can rent are going to be available soon, soon. Um, I think Dark is gonna be getting an outpost in Special 1 for his new group while he's waiting on finding a Sim. Um, and, uh... I think that there's a couple other uh, small groups popping up that are waiting on us to get those outposts set up. So that should be done by the end of the week. I know we're like pretty behind schedule, but uh, we had to stop and work on scripted systems. We had to wait for textures to get done, and a lot of people's computers were fucked up, and people were on vacation and crap. So we're just kind of kind of waiting it out. Um, other than that. I think that that's it's pretty much everything for today. Uh, I don't know, actually. Sorry. Um, you mentioned Tacoon. He's approached us, and he's, um, if he was talking about doing his own combat continent, something with, I think, New Jesse, something. Do you know anything about I that? I have no idea what's going on with that. I'm not going to badmouth them at all, but... Uh, no, I was just like seeing it. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, apparently yeah. Coercion and uh, AN are thinking about starting up their own small little continent with uh, New Jesse or whatever, and hey, that's no, cool. No. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, yeah, yeah. in regards to that, I was talking to Kane earlier, and um, yeah, yeah. apparently he had no plans whatsoever to move in with them. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I figured that was the case. I figured it was just some rumor they were uh, they were going to talk to Kane about. I know that Kane wanted to attach uh, Remnants of Earth to... Uh, New Jesse at some point, but I think that was to get more avatars in because New Jesse's been really, really busy lately. Like, uh, and uh, it's a good place to attack. Like, the, the big problem is with, uh, yeah, I mean, they've got 20 people in New Jesse now. I think 2142's there and like another group. 
Yeah, uh, yeah the big problem with uh, attacking the Outlands right now, or was, that uh, you only had Chaos to attack, and, like, uh, we always had a lot of people on, and, you know, people, uh, they were getting upset about the turrets and the Medusa mortars, so we cut that out, and then people were still getting pushed back, so I don't think it had a lot to do with the uh, turrets and the Medusa mortars. I think that uh, people just need to rethink their tactics for fighting Intersim, like, uh, it's not like, a, you know... Uh, single sim where you can just put on your favorite gun and run forward. You got to get people working together if you want to push into a sim like off the main branch of sims. So hopefully that improves. And like I said, the rentable outposts will make it a little bit easier for uh, groups to start attacking each other and stuff like that. But I mean, we're already bigger than CC was last year before it died. So that's that's a a big step. We're not having any real problems other than people whining and complaining about things that they feel they can whine and complain about all the time. So, it's whatever. And it's always the same, like, four or five people that are whining and complaining, and it's just on the forums, and they never show up in here, so it's like, what can you do about it? Like, uh, so hopefully, uh, those people start showing up if they think they know how to make things more approachable for them here, but I think that their their big thing is they're just opposed to it because they're not participating in it or you know, contributing to it. So it's like, well, it's, I didn't do it, so it's not good. So whatever on that regard. What is this that you got rest out here, Sume? It's the APC zip base. I gotcha. Yeah. Sorry, I'm back. I, uh, yeah, I no get worries. Away. Yeah, no worries. We're just uh, touching on some stuff. I hope that New Jesse gets a full sim because it sucks when they send out a notice like AN or 2142 is taking over New Jesse and there's like 15 2142 guys there and then there's three furries idling in the spawn, and then you can pull in two of your guys, and it's like, well, how the hell are we supposed to take it back to them? Those furries idling are actually very integral to New Jesse. (laughs) Get out of here. Uh, Or I wish that Kane would put out something to kick the people that were idling in the spawn out, because I like fighting in New Jesse. I don't like the build all that much, but uh, it's still fun. Like, there's always people there to fight with, whereas, like, uh, sometimes we, you know, people get tired of getting shot by us here in the Outlands because, you know, there's not a lot to do right now. But the builds, you know, stuff isn't done here yet, and that's the thing that people need to realize. Like, we're running behind schedule, but this is an entirely volunteer project. Nobody's really, nobody's making any money off of this, and nobody, like, nobody's getting paid unless, uh, you know, we actually commissioned them for it. We ask them to do something for us for free. and Except me! Yeah, except Tyro. Tyro gets paid to edit videos. Uh, but that's for chaos stuff mostly. Um, we uh, we do have some plans like down the road. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna buy some new computer parts here pretty soon. I'm gonna start a uh, uh, hitbox channel, and I'm gonna have uh, something streaming the Outlands like 24/7 basically. So, oh, sick! Yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, Flying and Zantru and I were talking about uh, scripting a bot to do that. Uh, pretty soon there is going to be a dynamic weather system. Uh, I'm almost done with the mesh planes. Well, I could be done with that today if I really wanted. I'm just lazy. Uh, and then Zan's gonna make God the thing it, that lazy. yeah, Zan's gonna make the thing that spawns all the prims out. So uh, we would like uh, so we'll be working on a 24-hour wind light and stuff like that for all the sims soon too. Um, we would like to uh, get that out because I feel like that would make this feel a lot more unique than. It currently does because we've never, we've never had a weather system in Second Life. Like uh, there was a weather system in Second Life back in like 2001 when it was still Linden Realms. I think I don't know. Um, I'd have to watch some dev videos. I think I saw it raining every once in a while and stuff like that. It'd be, be cool to do. We want to get some scripted like monster NPCs like or like regular NPCs out walking around. <laughs> yeah, we're already working on people. that. We got Doom Demons coming. They're fully yeah. animated and will kick your ass. Um, yeah. I know Dread's working on zombies as well. I believe. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, well, Nero and Dread are gonna be working on zombies. Uh, Nero, Dread, and Sarah will be. Um, which is cool. Um, got yeah. a quick question about armor. Um, yeah. LSA. Uh, or LBA. Yeah. What LBA, about it? Sorry, I forget. Yeah. Um, LBA, uh, I was actually just reminded that I need to put the, uh, an LBA version of the two armor pieces into an APC in them. Um, what's the rule on, on that? I mean... Um, so you cannot deploy full LBA in the Outlands right now because the community has not agreed to adopt LBA. Got it. 
Um, but you can deploy LBA Lite, which makes it easier on the Sims if you're using LBA Lite, because when an LBA munition hits LBA Lite stuff, it'll do the LBA damage instead of the prim bashing damage, and it'll make it a lot easier on the Sim, because you don't have all those physics events going. Um, when XAF comes here and we have, uh, like, you know, LBA Lite fights against each other, it's very, very smooth a lot of the time. So... Yeah, it makes it uh it makes everything a lot more lightweight. Just make sure like if you okay. have munitions that are checking for you know, just make sure your munitions are checking for the description for the LBA light thing and if they get it they uh um they'll do the LBA message instead. Um please realize that uh we don't need the mo the absurd amounts of AT that we use when we do prim bashing when you're doing LBA because the LBA damage is transferred instantly, whereas the prim damage, you have to wait for every single fucking prim right, to hit no, the no. shit. Yeah. Uh, we've been having a lot of problems with, uh, well, 2142 and XAF regarding, like, how quickly they deliver LBA damage. Like, it's insane. When you say how quickly, you mean their their stuff isn't determining between LBA life? No, 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 no. What I mean how quickly is, like... Uh, 2142 has this rifle with a tactical reload where they can get three shots off in about a second and do 90 LBA damage. That's, uh, I mean, yeah, I, that's like killing someone, a tank in three three bullets, yeah, you know? I mean, you're, you're talking to someone who still believes the fact that the only things that should be doing anti-armor are from infantry is basically a, a shoulder-mounted single-shot rocket. Yeah, 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 um, yeah exactly. So, so, I, I mean, I, yeah. Like, uh... The full charge shot from our new plasma gun, it does do 50 AT, but good luck fucking hitting anything with it. Um, I'll show it to you guys. Like, uh, But once you do the full charge shot from the plasma gun, you gotta wait for it to recharge, and it takes like 10 seconds. So it's balanced like our tank's main cannon, basically. So um, in that regard, uh, you know, try not, like, for everybody, just everybody in the SOMC, ADI's gone. We don't need to worry about throttled armor all that much anymore, so we don't need to throw, like, hundreds and hundreds of AT out at each other anymore, like, to kill somebody's tank. Like, if you shoot somebody's tank with 200 AT, and it's a 200 HP tank, it's usually gonna die. Yeah, here, let me hit Tyro's tank real quick. How much damage did that do, Tyro? 10. Oh, 10? What? Yep. Hang on. That's not right. You guys are good at testing things. Yeah, I mean, my, my biggest I think thing it's is splashed. I, yeah. I also hate the anti-armor melees. Those are just so stupid. Yeah, I don't really like melees that do anti-armor too. Uh, I don't know, also anti-tank grenades, like, some of them are pretty shit. I, some people have fucking grenades they're throwing around that are doing, like, hand grenades, like, yeah. that are doing, like, 60 AT, and it's like, wait, what? Yeah, the only yeah, thing you like, have is the sap grenade, but it's, you can't do damage against infantry, and it has to directly yeah. hit on the object. Your sap grenades here. a lot like uh, our uh, melta bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I pretty much hate everything that does anti-armor that's not, like, a rocket from a shoulder. Yeah. But, Especially, uh, like, I fought in 2142 when I was testing the Lancer, and literally one person had anti-armor grenade, anti-armor mine, and then their rocket launcher, and they had them all bound to gestures, so they just jump over and just hit three buttons and, like, destroy a tank, and it's like, wow. Macro, that's, son. That's, uh, that's kind of bullshit. Yeah, So, um, when I finally released my macro fur army onto the Outlands, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and... <laughs> God. God, yeah, macro diaper furs, that's what I'm gonna use. PDF. We knew that was your fetish. I knew yeah, it wasn't man. Milky Moose. I will release my aimbot uh, program for Second Life next week. It's okay. Okay, Zilflux. Um. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm gonna start inviting the Romans to come attack the Outlands. So have fun with that, guys. Um. But uh, so yeah. I mean, I really, really want to help everybody get their armor up to par too, because I know like some people's uh, stuff doesn't cross sim borders quite as consistently as ours does. So we're gonna work on hey, that. Even I'm running head. Is this more cover, or do you want more? Um, this is so getting better. Yeah, this is getting better. This is a I lot better a actually. Walk, but... Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're just uh, we're gonna test it a bit. Uh, 
whatever you feel like being in there, Dusty. I I don't have my glasses on right now. I can't see anything without my glasses. Wow. Oh, it was just a voting for the yeah, 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 crap. Yeah. I typed it out. Yeah. Oh. This is crossing some borders very consistently. Head up. Yeah, yeah, the Layman Russ and the Chimeric sim border is almost 100% of the time now. It's just when it's lagging that I get it wrong. <laughs> I, uh, I was what joking. It's not crossing. <laughs> well, the Layman Russ isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's because these sims just got fucked with. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, go, go test it over there in, like, Special 1 in Italy, too. You shouldn't have any problems. So I was just being a jackass and interrupting. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna... Uh, you want yeah, me to I post mean... a vote? Yeah, go ahead and post the vote out and then send a notice about it. I'd be curious, I guess, to check how I solved the sim crossing issue with you guys, because the, uh, the region did, you know, set region pause and stuff. I actually have a backup where if it... Before it deciding that, wait, I can't find my base, it just uses a move to target to try and get across the sim border. Uh, I'm not quite sure how Dread did it, but I can have okay. him talk to you later when he's sure. around. Yeah. I mean, it, it, we tested it not under a stress condition, and it yeah. works pretty damn smooth. So. Uh, so you guys are gonna want to fuck with the teleport routing, uh, in your sims and have it like go up to a skybox where the skybox will kill people that aren't in your group. By the way, best plan. Because uh, that's what we do, and we get to watch a lot of Italian puppies get gassed to death. Hmm. I don't know, I watched uh, one one of those, like, real estate bots get gas, and it was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but, uh, yeah, that'll keep people from trying to, like, breach down from your landing point and attack you and stuff like that. I'll have Dread hand you the crap uh, that's up in our skybox here in just a little bit. I don't know where he's at today. Um, and, uh, I'm trying to think what else we really need to cover. Uh, I mean... Really, now that we've got two militaries here, um, things are going to change a lot uh, for lone wolves too, because they're going to have more than one option of who to fuck with now. Um, and lone wolves and other militaries, so uh, that's good. Um, the builds are getting done. I know it seems like progress is really slow, but it just it takes a lot to build, you know, four neutral sims and. Everybody was like, well, you got those two sims done in a day, and it's like, dude, we just threw those sims together, like, uh, with Italy Land 2 and Italy Land. Like, we never planned on those even being out this long. We just, we've been running into problems uh, in real life, so we haven't really had a chance to get a whole lot done. Uh, special one, we'll have, see some really big changes here throughout the next day or so, and it should be done soon. Um... We have new admins so that uh, we don't have to always, like, chaos. Well, Dusty and I don't always have to handle an administrative stuff because it was me, Dusty, and Clary for a little while doing administrative stuff. And uh, that was kind of a pain in the ass. I didn't want to do administrative stuff. Minus didn't want to do administrative stuff. Dusty doesn't want to do administrative stuff. But we've had to a little bit while we've waited on getting these admins. Casey's an admin now. Uh, Dark Sleeper's an admin. Kelly J's an admin. Why it's an admin, but he hasn't been around since he won the vote, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, if why it doesn't. I'm pretty switch. sure he's still in a corner with a fucking cardboard box computer and a tin hat, going, "I know it's happening. I know it." All right. Well, Bye. I I don't know. I hope why it starts showing up because I don't think that he's going to be a bad admin. I just uh, I need him to show up because you know he won the admin vote, and that's the thing. Like uh. You know, if you we have him added to the system, Dark will be around a lot in the late evenings if something comes up. Just contact an admin. Uh, if something's going on, don't just outright just start griefing Design Clarity like everybody's mentality has <laughs> been so far. Like, oh, it's Design Clarity. Fuck him. I've kind of been putting uh, Megatext tags on him that says uh, when he's on when he's on Yivi, I'll put Design yeah. Clarity over his head. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like, sorry to jump in, like, have you thought of, like, putting, like, a admin board, what they have it, have it, like, New Jesse, and, uh, like... There is one out, it just needs to get scripted, uh, when Fine gets home from work today, we're gonna have it set up to where that'll show who's online and stuff, but there's one out down in the hub, like, if you look at the okay. wall, it shows all, all the staff members, um, admins, developers, and council members, and something else, I forget. No, it's just admin developers and council members, right, Dusty? Council admin developers. Yeah. 
So uh, if you find something wrong with a system that someone made or a mesh object that somebody made, message them directly uh, for the is that developers. That's what my car was. Sorry. Oh, oh, did you find your car? Yeah, it just got returned. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, we've been it. using it as an objective for a little while, like we were stealing it from each other and driving it around and crap. I um, know, Rose got one now. It's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, yeah, if you find a problem with, like, a collision on a mesh or something like that, that's really bad. Like, you know, we, we miss things sometimes. We don't get a chance to test every single piece of mesh we upload sometimes, so stuff can be broken. If it's broken, let us know, and we will get it fixed as soon as possible. I haven't run into any... On anything we've actually made for this project, I've run into any collision problems because we we usually do test everything extensively before it, it touches the ground. So um, that's pretty much it. Haven, I'm gonna make you new trees because I hate these trees. Why do you hate these trees? Because they're crap. You're crap. Yeah. Um, I don't carry the way. If you want to make your trees, go for it. Yeah, I'll make some new trees. But um. If you guys have any, these are phantom. What are these trees? They shouldn't be. I was driving right through almost all of them with my tank. So I'm gonna say Wait, the what? Oh, they yeah. were the phantom. My bad. I'll fix that. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, what the fuck? Like, They're also not fully on the ground, David. Hey, what is I'll help him fix them. I just, yeah. I just, I literally just planted this shit what, down. What, what's with you with, with not being able to get stuff on the ground? Because I, I, I'm all cammed in the air and I start planting. I know, I know. I'm just being smartass. I know you're yeah. being smartass. You're a little cuck boy. That's what you are. I'll help fucking you punch them. you. It's okay. Um, don't worry about it. I can okay, you got it. something that throws tanks at you. Actually, I've already done that. So um, I need a soundboard with judge sounds so I can be like quiet. Court comes yeah. to order. Yeah, oh, right. Meant, like, Judge, uh, Dredd, Judge. Judge Dredd sounds would be good too. I, <laughs> <don't know. laughs> I was really tempted to put John Cena sound, uh, set loud boxes everywhere in here while I was working on. This. I'm gonna be uh, working on some more stuff on the admin side of things with the admin. Right uh, and, uh, did Flying extend the yeah, admin yeah. stuff yeah. into your sim as well? Yeah. Cool. So if somebody's being a dream in your sim. Uh, <laughs> Let us know we can auto it. Uh, don't uh, admin unless it's like go. somebody you know, outright trying to crash your sim. Don't administer against them if they're attacking you. Uh, just have somebody else do it. it. Um, that's the policy. Like I know you guys already know. I know we've already talked about this, but yeah, unless they're outright trying to crash the sim, yeah, don't don't bother with them. Just grief them. And uh, if an admin's not online, otherwise, just get an admin online and they'll take care of it. We usually message the person. Give them about a minute to reply. If they don't reply, we uh, unset them if they're seated on something that's stupid, and then we eject them. Uh, if they still don't reply, like as we're trying to get their attention, we black screen them for like a minute or two while we're trying to get them to reply. Because once they get in the hub, they stop getting black screened, which is nice. So uh, yeah, once we kill them, like in their outside of the hub, the hub has or in the hub, the hub has. So wait, no if you black screen someone in one sim, does it keep black screening if they leave if they go to another sim? Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, it'll get wow. everybody throughout the whole um, sim chain. Um, so speaking of which, yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but you might want to make a spawn parcel in your sim. I already today. told him about that. Um, in my sim. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you want one or not. One that's For... no damage. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's pussy right. shit. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, so if somebody's being stupid, this goes to anybody, just tell an admin. Just be like, this guy's being an idiot. Like, there aren't a lot of rules here, so don't, like, fucking whine if nobody's breaking a rule. But if somebody's, like, flying around on an NPV, firing nukes at you full auto and crap, just be like, yo, stop. And if they don't stop, tell an admin, and admin will take care of it. Like, uh... They'll just, uh, they'll get put on an unsitter so they can't get on the NPV and the, you know, you can just shoot nukes back at them. The admin might even hand you a full auto nuke launcher to shoot at them with. Who knows? But, wow. Uh, Wegways and segways are on its way, just saying. Wegways for council members, uh, a segway for admins. Swagways. Yeah, swagways. They're you can basically swag a so uh, segway without the handle thing. I've actually seen those some fucking black chick was running on those up in Nashville the other day. Uh, the only time that actually happens, uh, Sume, is when the Vectist fails on those. 
That's oh. what that is. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes when the Sims lagging Vectis, like the person will die right as it uh it infected them, and uh, we have a cleanup. For cheap for games and Xbox so Live codes, we don't care, and we just let it happen. Yeah, that was the <laughs> the one thing I was I was mentioning. Yeah, I didn't. I yeah, I know Vectis should do it, but that makes sense. But... Yeah, Vectis sometimes fails, and that could happen with a sensor too at that point because it's just Vectis being stupid. Actually, that um, do we get the trenches from you guys too? Uh, uh yeah, but I haven't seen Zane on, so I can't really. You need to like tell him queer ask it on because I could just replace these rocks with trenches and our. Well, you want rocks. these these rocks out too, though. Like these rocks are good; they're in a good spot. I'd put some trenches down near the waterway or something. Okay, but, yeah, I can do yeah. that. Yeah, the now that the rocks are up higher, it's it's a lot better. Like there's a lot of room to move up. Like with a jetpack, you could get up to your base pretty quickly. Yeah. Um. I plan to have some uh, stationary defense turrets uh, yeah. that are manned. The watch yeah, towers are going to be pretty neat. Uh, we're going to make it so that when you sit, you can sit up in there, and it's basically you taking cover. So you only have like 20 HP, but you can duck yeah. in and out of cover. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Chris worked on some destroyable LBA walls for us. Uh, I know, I'm not sure what's going on with those yet. Uh, I'm going to talk to him later today, or I might just talk to him when he's off That's... work. Okay. Yeah, it is easy to do, uh, but he's already done it, so yeah. it's, there's no point in us having to do it again, you know. Um, I like the little fucking embassy, like fucking papers please house that's out over here. I know, for, right? Except for you can't go inside of it. What? Hang on, oh, let me fix gay. that. No, hang on. I think I know what's wrong with it. Uh, set the uh, physics shape to prim instead of convex hole and you'll be able to go in it. It actually, no, I can always set it to none. Oh, so yeah, you can't go inside of it. That's pretty gay. Well, so we set, physics, physics, set physics shape to none, yeah, and just do some rectangles. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Dusty? I was just saying, prim build the physics for it. Yeah, that's. By the way, guys, I finally do. found my waifu. Um. Oh, fuck you. Dendrick, have you and Rodinia had any real problems? Like, you guys actually were putting up a decent fight against like three or four chaos guys the other night. So. Was that with the double waifus? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was heaps of fun. Because uh, um, uh, I know you guys are here a lot. Uh, Design Clarity's here a lot, but I think that's because this is like the only place he isn't banned at, so... Oh no, he's unbanned from New Jersey. Um, I don't know, it's pretty fun and shit. Yeah, like, Ro Rose seems pretty happy with the place. He likes you guys. Yeah, well, everybody that's been hanging out here other than, uh, you know, a few of the people that just were hanging out to be dweebs, uh, that eventually ended up leaving anyway, uh, has, you know, they've all fucking been contributing. Like, every time somebody starts fighting somewhere, we can see problems with something and we can adjust it. Uh, we're going to be working on the roadway pretty soon, so the roads will be out, and we'll uh, fucking ex start working on getting the Outlands finished pretty soon with the Actually, reactor and everything. Actually, you mentioned roadway, so i interrupt you. Um, yeah. I think, I'll show, I'll show you later when I show you that other thing. There's, yeah. like, when you cross the sim... Yeah, yeah, like you you go inside of a ramp. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna work yeah. on padding out those sim borders a little bit, but okay. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. It's like over here somewhere. You end up phasing into it. Uh, I mean, the problem is that your avatar's physics aren't like instantly initialized when you cross the sim border, so you end up phasing through objects. So when we get the builds done, there's like for the first four meters on any sim border, there aren't gonna be any objects, so you don't like accidentally end up inside a wall or anything, because that's been kind of a problem. We will be kind of decorating the inside of the hab block spawn soon too, so that uh Yeah, you're talking about this spot right here. Yeah. Actually you know what throw me in teleport. I'm I'm like in Deshima and everyone's being fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on inside of the hab block Gosh. stuff now. Okay, cool. Um Yeah, sorry this me meeting was a little unorganized. I had just woken up like fucking a little over an hour ago, and... Um, no, no, it's all good. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Yeah, 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 I already found it. Um, fucking... Hopefully, the big thing that I want to get done this week is uh, getting the public armory stuff out so that people have uh, aircraft and tanks and stuff that they can use against us, so... We're gonna prioritize that, and, uh, like... Uh, hopefully, in the That's spare time, we'll get... Them. We'll get the build worked on. Uh, like, 
But I really, really don't foresee the builds taking much longer now that we have a lot of the stuff that we need and a lot of the stuff that we have. A lot of our Chaos's mesh artists are all back now, which is good. So, because they were all away and doing shit. So now that that's good, we can really start turning out some stuff and our texture artists are back now too. So, but we really do need the community's help in getting stuff done quickly because, you know, I think that we're going to end up opening on August 4th. Um, as opposed okay. to July 4th. Like, I mean, we're open now in terms of you can come in, you can test stuff out and have fun and fight people that are here, but uh, the builds aren't uh, officially done and shit like that. Like, it's the same deal. Like, just come and fight and have fun, but if something's broken, let us know and we'll fix it as soon as we can. Um, I know that it, these same plain colored prims have been sitting in special one for a month now. I get that, but, you know. What can you do? Uh, we had to wait on stuff to get done. We weren't going to throw prefabs out. We didn't want this to grind our frame rates to a screeching halt. Like, uh, uh, everything is pretty good here. Don't you, are those A and Gartel's Haven? What? It wasn't worth interrupting the entire meeting for him, but okay. Uh, I just noticed, and I'm looking at you saying, those are A and Gartel's. Those are hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking, uh, but yeah, uh, when you're when you're in these sims pretty soon, uh, a lot of the other sims will be obscured from your vision, and it'll help with your frame rate uh, quite a bit. Um, I might be building a new computer here pretty soon, so the the whole build for uh, the Outlands bot might happen a lot sooner than I thought, which is good. Um, trying to think what else we really need to touch on. Um, so everybody was, you know, saw that that Excalibur guy got banned for abuse reporting, and then there was a shit fit on the forums because we had a, an oversight with putting that in the rules. Uh, with the abuse report thing is in the rules now, so abuse reporting is a bannable offense. It might not technically be permanent a permanent ban. We may clear those bans eventually for the abuse reports. But uh, he was unbanned and he's been given another chance because of the fact that it wasn't actually in the rule note card when he said he was going to AR one of us. Uh, but uh, I just, I don't want people to be able to AR each other when they're doing combat and upset with each other. Like that's going to cause some serious problems, 2142. Um, so let's, uh, let's keep in mind that abuse reporting in the combat community is bad because what we do is community sanctioned griefing like the moment. People start abusing, reporting each other because they're, you know, they're getting a little booty flustered. It's encouraging people to mass AR each other and get banned. So, please, please don't abuse report each other. Don't abuse report each other in your own sims if you're you're not attached. Like an abuse report will equal a permanent ban. Like that's just how it is. Uh, and uh, you know, it's it's against the rules in New Jesse. It's against the rules in almost every combat sim. Don't AR people. That's fucking ridiculous. So. Use your words like a big boy. Yeah, use your words or just shoot a bigger explosion at the person. Like, let's not, like, I got account banned, like, uh, a month or so ago for, like, 24 hours where I had to fucking argue with LL about why I was banned. And I was like, look, you know, we fucking pay for a lot of sims. And that's how I actually ended up getting, uh, unbanned was saying, I'm, I'm rich, bitch. But, uh, no, we, uh, we had to. I had to do a bunch of crap, and it cleared out my payment info, so now I have to wait for my uh, payment info, like uh, my PayPal to get re-verified before I can cash out any of my money, and it's just, it's really frustrating. So, just bear in mind that you don't want anybody getting banned, that's ridiculous. Um, um, I think that about right. wraps it up. Actually... Uh, do you know anything about like two one four two possibly joining the combat continent or AN or they're kind of still on the? Fence I think there? everybody's still up in the air. AN and coercion are kind of uh, not very happy with chaos and KPC right now. Um, nope. so I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know what fucking bug crawled up uh, Straylock's ass recently, but uh, Straylock, chill out, man. Like for real. Uh, I don't know what's up with 2142. I don't think that uh, 2142 has any plans to connect or anything like that at all. Um, 
it's we it's might, too unrestricted. Uh, What's that? When I put up an outpost, but as far as yeah. I know, we haven't had any discussions about moving this. Yeah, in. I think that it's just too unrestricted for you guys. I'll be totally honest. Um, you guys kind of have like uh, you guys, you know, you have your some members, and then you have like your hug box of people that you know don't actually want to do combat. Okay. Hey. On yeah. a side thing, I probably um, I don't know if you anyone else knows, but Rose kind of. We're hoping Ro will take over leadership from Jason. Yeah. And um, if that works out, I'm hoping to possibly open up a sim and sim and shit yeah. since well, I've got mean, the money we'll, for it. Yeah, we'll let you guys get an outpost here anytime you feel like it. Um, I know that Sildavia and SK are back, and I'd love to see Sildavia and SK here because we had SK on the original Combat Continent when I had a sim there. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to see SK there again, but... Oh, uh, Clary, hold on to those understand. parts. I might buy them from you. From what I understand, they're joining Tekken's uh, continent. What's that? I heard they might be joining Tekken's little continent. Oh, well. Both of them. That's a, that's a bad idea, I hate to say. Like, uh, Otto's not been the most stable guy. I hope that he gets his stuff together. I'm going to hand him a bunch of stuff soon. But right now, I, I, those two groups are just getting off the ground. It'd be a really bad idea to go into such an expensive endeavor, especially since uh, Sildavia had two sims attached to each other back in like 2011 or something, and it ended in a access wall. That and SK and uh, Sildavia, they tried to share a sim last year, I think, and it ended bad. So I hope that whatever they do works out for them. But, uh, you know. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Uh, I love Sildavia, honestly. Like, uh, they're one of my favorite groups on the grid, but it's kind of like what's going to happen with uh, SK when, you know, they all get bored again and take off. I hope that they stick around. Um, I don't know what's going on with uh, Otto. I think he's waiting on being deployed, and he might be deployed really soon, so... That's at least what I heard. I haven't talked to the dude in a while, so I'll talk to him later in the week and see what's up with him. See if, uh... But yeah, they're splitting a homestead with uh, Queen Korpov and Soldavia right now. Um, I know that uh, Dark Sleeper's got his group starting really soon. Dark's, uh, Dark's the guy to talk. Dark and Query and Avil are the people to talk to if you need an admin right now. There are independent admins. And Kelly J. But I haven't seen Kelly in a day or two, so... I saw her a couple of days ago. Yeah. Well, Kelly, I know, has been here in the mornings, just standing around, seeing if anybody needs anything. Um, I've seen lone wolves fighting a lot more in the mornings lately, just fighting with each other. Um, other than design, standing, you know, jetpacking around and then accurately shooting me from three sims away on a 2006 MacBook with 200 draw distance. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. That's that's what he told us. He said he had 200 draw distance, and he was alt camming to us, jetpacking through the air, and then shooting us when he couldn't see us accurately while we were jumping around. I'm like, what? Um. So, I, I mean, I don't know what else really to cover. Um. I want to interest some more groups in attaching, but I think that it's going to take a finished build and something more for people to do to get more people interested in attaching, and I think that they'll see that, you know, this is pretty unrestricted. Uh, they can pretty much do whatever they want here as long as they follow those five simple rules, so I, I'm not sure what all the uh, opposition's been about recently. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me, but... Coercion butthurt. That's what it looks like. I don't, yeah, do. I don't know. Um, just some people getting mad that they didn't get their way about something, I think, is mostly what it is, and if th that's fine, you know. Uh, Stick up for your own group's members, but if your own group's members were being stupid, you need to say they were being stupid and get it over with, because I think that that's ridiculous. Like, don't ha like handicap your whole group because one member decided to do something stupid or something like that. Um, but Coercion was attacking us even after that whole thing with Tiri happened, and we were having a lot of fun, uh, so I don't know what was going on, or what's been going on with them lately. Uh, because I haven't really seen them do anything but attack Rome lately, so I hope that they show up and start attacking again, because it was fun. Um, it's going to be easier for people to attack Chaos than it is KPC, because they don't have to fucking face through the buffer sim. So. Yep.
Um, we thought about doing a buffer sim ourselves, but we just directly attached because we didn't feel like paying for another homestead. Um, I know that uh, there was Sigilite Guard, which I think they merged with Regineers. They wanted to move their sim to the Outlands at one point, but I don't know what's going on with them. Did they merge with Regineers? Is that what happened? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sadly enough, they did. Well, Regineers has a full sim, don't they? Uh, they do, but they're Brazilian, and we've already shown they can be incredibly incompetent. Yeah, well, we were walking around uh, testing the physics on some of the stuff that Filippo had out, and it looked like he just didn't make physics shapes for his stuff. We've got, like, full recordings of it and stuff. I'm going to ask Filippo if he needs some help, because that would be nice uh, to get that stuff fixed. What's up, Fine? Am I late? Yeah, yeah by yeah. an hour and a half. Ah. Uh, yeah. Hi. What did I miss? You didn't miss anything? You didn't really miss uh, anything that I we haven't talked about. Poop. Yeah, we haven't uh. talked about already. Um. Oh yeah, Flying Scott, uh, he's trying to get a Boreum up and running, mm -hmm. and he's been running around. So, I mean, there are people to fight here other than Chaos, so... Mm -hmm. And now there really are. Like, go fuck with KPC for a little bit so we can work on shit. Oh, uh, like, excuse uh, me? Yeah, just fuck KPC up. We're ruining him. Get him to quit. Actually, that uh, kind of gives me an interesting kind of thought here. What happens if, uh, say, KPC goes to 2142 Sim and raids, and then... 2142, I guess if they if they uh, want to reattack, they're going to have to do it through the, the regular spawn and all that, and if they yeah. don't like it, tough shit, correct? Yep, that's okay. right. Yep, you... Any militaries that attack you will have to start in the neutral sims. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's hey, to encourage inter sim combat, and it's also to encourage, like, uh, when, uh, when multiple groups are fighting at once here, you get this really interesting dynamic of what the fuck is going on. Like, it becomes really frantic really fast. Like, uh, sometimes uh, a group will show up and start attacking us, and then Flying and Dusty will show up and start attacking us and them, and mm -hmm. it just turns into this attacking everybody. free for all. Yeah, free for all where everybody's just shooting at each other. Um, Until we encourage chaos gets serious, and then uh, chaos dominates everyone. Yeah, we, we encourage people to work together to fight the bigger groups so that you can get the bigger groups pushed back. Like, I really want to encourage that. Like, if you got some XAF guys here and some Rodinia guys here, we have this team speak for a reason. I know that not everybody gets along with XAF, but try to get them in team speak and try to get them to work with you if you're fighting with Chaos or KPC at the time. Because it's hard to, you know, as like a two or three man group, uh, you know, like, crew fight a uh, 15 person group that's got you know a bunch of people online and they're all running around with three weapons on them a piece and a, a fully scripted grenade hud and crap like that and possibly laying turrets out we have lightened up on the turrets uh we're gonna encourage people not to be quite as ridiculous as the turrets but the turrets are gonna see uh full distribution here pretty soon so expect to see them mm -hmm. uh but they're gonna be balanced out a little bit more like uh the bolter turrets they're ridiculous right now i we know they're ridiculous we put the regular bolt from our bro bolt gun in it and that's going to get fixed uh it's going to have a a bolt that the explosion does partial damage on it and stuff like that so right got... um and uh we will be kpc i think is buying our turret stuff from dread at some point so you'll be seeing whenever he comes from being lazy mook and sells it to me yeah yeah well i think he's been job hunting he had uh some stuff going on with some guy he was interviewing with so he might be around soon but yeah he's not even on steam right now so yeah i'd assume that he's uh he's doing job hunting shit it is saturday afternoon um if you guys need any help with uh, tech, we will try to help you as quickly as possible. Um, okay. Yeah. Because I know, like Ro, he wants to. Um, he wants to. I think K, um, Haven mentioned uh, tank. Um, what's it called? Doesn't take um, hit damage prop properly. We want to redo it and get. Yeah, erosion it. damage does not do damage to it for some reason. I well, think yeah. I mean, we were blasting through. it with a lot of uh, AT the other night too, and it it was only taking about half the hits. It's just. It's old scripts. We can, uh... Does Ryo do any scripting, or do we need to... We need to you help probably him might that. need to just help him a bit, and I don't yeah. know, like if... Like, maybe Adam, and like, if you see him online, because I don't know, he's pretty... Yeah, he's around a lot, yeah. Yeah, like, um... I don't know, message him 2pm, and like, I yeah. don't know, show him a few... Sh 
Yeah, there's going to be a bunch of full perm stuff out in the public armory soon. Um, I thought we were going to have the public armory done today. Uh, we, you know, Chaos does their 40k Friday thing where we play Space Marine and Dawn of War and stuff like that. And uh, that lasted a while. And then I helped Haven rotate the uh, Sim build in Samson, which worked out really well. Um, yep, with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was that was interesting to watch. I wish I had recorded that actually. I think that's probably the only time I've ever seen that done in Second mm -hmm. Life. Like that was really cool. Um I can't believe it worked as smooth as it did. I mean, we only spent like maybe 35 minutes looking for little chunks that we missed and it looks like everything's mm -hmm. moved now. Um and if there are things that are still, you know, not move well you those things aren't kind of relevant anyway yeah you can just drop the script in it if you find it too which mm -hmm. is nice um yeah. yeah we moved the entire samson build using just scripts that sumay and flying handed us we just dragged them in got it down to the ground and then uh walked out the uh put the scripts in and it rotated 90 degrees so it was it was quick it was really really messy for a little bit there though as we were trying to figure out what had already moved and what hadn't we were like what the fuck mm -hmm. um I will say, uh, some credit has to go to Dusty for, uh, improving, well, giving me an idea. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh Dusty, what well, was actually wrong about, uh, one thing, which was the, the direction I needed to rotate. But yeah. as it turns out, things flipped out if I didn't try rotating it in that direction, so it saved me time. Yeah. That's why you see the thing, like, go to three different positions before going to the correct one. Yeah, I noticed that. But, uh, yeah, that's... That's awesome that that got worked out. Um, I'm glad we didn't lose anything on the sim borders, too. Um, we will be putting out some traffic stat bots once the builds are done so that we can see how we're doing traffic-wise. Um, I mean, New Jesse's kicking our ass in traffic right now, which is, you know, cool. They've got because a complete build. Because has been there constantly. Yeah, well, 2142 is there right now. I mean... They have a complete build. I understand. I'm not upset about that mm -hmm. at all. Like, uh, they're gonna kick our ass in traffic for a little while until we get these builds finished. Uh, and mm -hmm. then I, I was. I'm glad that they rescripted their objective system. I wish that they had just used the one that I offered to give them. But I guess they're content doing things on their own. I hope they fix their spawn system because it's a nightmare right now. And we could just hand them the one that we have right now and just put their. Hey, if in. they weren't too prideful to uh, reject it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, Moy made that objective system for them back, or not objective, uh, spawn system for them back in like 2009. Mm -hmm. um, so it's old, you know. They yeah. might take it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was really hoping that some of those buildings that I saw really bad physics shapes on were going to get fixed, but they didn't. So. But Kane said he got him off Marketplace and there wasn't a lot he could do about it. And Yeah, uh, he was trying to use stuff from Dynamic Evolution, which uh, has a texture memory efficiency of a fucking turd in a coffee pot. Well, texture memory of a turd in a coffee pot would be pretty... It'd be pretty high, yeah. yeah it'd be, I mean, yeah, yeah, it'd be it wouldn't be very low at all. No, yeah. no, you don't, you don't understand. It's uh, It has the texture efficiency of the Merc's 4 megabyte cube. Oh god, I remember that. <laughs> what? Four megabyte cube? They had a yeah, cube. yeah, so uh, what, what had happened is there was like three 1024 by 1024 textures on a single cube. Yeah. A, like five by, you know, 0. 0.5 by 0. 0.5 by 0. 0.5 M cube. Yeah. And they weren't reused anywhere else. Yeah. Um. Wow. But no, I mean, I'm glad that Kane got that build done. I really like the underground portion of it. I... I just have trouble fighting there because it has been so busy lately. Oh shit, you know, I'm getting shelled. Ha! A lot of the uh, busyness <laughs> of it lately has been uh, people in the, the hub screwing around, which is great. It's still traffic, but when you're trying to do combat and there's 10 people in the hub, it's really hard to be, you know, one guy versus nine other dudes. So I hope that they get a full sim or something soon so that uh, can alleviate that problem a little bit. Um, I don't really understand why they haven't yet. I mean, they have. They would get enough support if they. I don't think that they get a lot of donations, honestly. Uh, and that's that's the hard thing. You gotta you gotta have the donations to get it. If every person in the community donated like two hundred L a month, maybe two or three hundred L a month to New Jesse, uh, Kane could get a full sim, and it wouldn't hurt his pocketbook that much. And I really like. I feel for him because you know we've got three people paying for all these sims right now and it it does it's it takes a toll yeah um, i know i'm i mean it's through the ad boards but i'm also getting a little bit on top of that so i'm doing several k to new jersey every month yeah yeah no i uh 
I I hope that people start donating New Jesse because New Jesse offers a different kind of combat than we do, and that's the thing. Like uh, New Jesse is a lot more approachable for lone wolves than uh, the Outlands is. Like, the yeah. Outlands is not very approachable for lone wolves. New Jesse needs to be there to balance that out, and uh, um, so I really hope that uh, people start donating to him. I mean, we had been donating for a little while. Uh, like I go through there and I'll I'll drop like two k in every once in a while and stuff like that. You know, that's uh. That's like a quarter of a week simrent, which is, you know, if everybody went and did that every once in a while, like I said, they'd be able to get a, a full sim, no problem. Um, so hopefully, hopefully they get a new full sim or they upgrade to a full sim. But uh, there's an upgrade fee for upgrading a homestead for a, to a full sim, and it's it's quite expensive. I think it costs like five hundred bucks. What? So, yeah. Well, you have to realize that when you have a homestead, uh, they're VMing three machines in the same machine. Yeah. Uh, and when you have a full sim, it's just a single machine. So they have to buy new hardware to get. Well, they claim they have to buy new hardware to give you a machine, but I don't know if they really do. So, I, I really, really don't know how. Like, if we wanted to upgrade one of our sims to a full sim, we'd be better off moving one away and just moving a fucking uh full sim here. And you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. Um, in what terms of. Oh, I said. Oh, nice to just be attached, but yeah, I mean, uh, he would add. Uh, he was working on a build. He would add to switch uh, landowners. He would add to change his rule set. He would add to drop some admins and stuff like that. And I mean, they were pretty comfortable in what they were doing. Like, yeah, they weren't getting a lot of traffic for a little while there, but now that they're open, they are. It's the one place to do neutral combat in a single sim right now. So it it makes sense that he didn't attach. Uh, this is a risky endeavor, you know, like this. Yeah. This could still blow up in our faces here, like three or four months down the road. We we don't really know. I don't think it will, but I can't I can't see that far ahead. So I honestly think it's important to have New Jesse being New Jesse instead of attaching, because yeah. then you have that option to, you know, hey, do we, you know, am I just a regular person who wants to like lone wolf attack places? I can do that in New Jesse. Here, you really can't. So it, yeah. I, I think it's important to have New Jesse stand alone. Yeah, this is supposed to feel more like a home, whereas New Jesse's kind of like a, a little sovereign state out to the side too. But um, I wish that Kane would have gotten back to me a little bit quicker about the attachment because then we could have gotten Desert Valley here a lot sooner and really started to progress on things. want to do with everything else so um, quick question is are there any other militaries at all that have any intentions of, of attaching or is it just us uh right now it's just us for the time being i think uh i think if rodinia takes off again centric express some interest in attaching a sim yeah um, that would be pretty cool yeah um it does cost 200 dollars to attach because of the uh security deposit to the landowners just to let you know ahead of time mm -hmm. um so it's 50k um it's, um, you know, that's a, that's a price we can't control. None of that money goes through us. Um, so I just want to make that clear again because I brought it up a month ago at the first meeting. I do not receive any of the do or any of the money for moving like the Sims. I don't take any cut of that. It's all to the landowners, and it's for if this doesn't work out, they can move the Sim away from us and you know re rent it out and stuff like that. Um, we do have. Seven sims here now? Yeah, seven sims here now. Uh, which means that we are bigger than the Merxiteers Arc Combat Continent, but we're not. No, we have eight. No, we have seven. What are you seeing? Actually, oh, I'm sorry. I kept thinking there was another sim. Yeah. I'll, I'm sorry. My bad. Actually, uh, what? What's up? Are you going to actually um, have clicks move Deshima to Combat Continent and turn the doghouse um, into a combat sim? So if you want to have furry sex, you can also do combat at the same time. <laughs> What happened to that oh, room yeah. anyway? What, what did that turn into? <laughs> and like some uh, fucking furry sex club or something, I think. I don't know. Oh, God. That's yeah. really insulting to Arik. Yeah. Well, not really. I mean, Arik still owns it. That's Ar what they yeah, did. Yeah. Centric hangs there all the time. Yeah, Centric, know, right? Centric's there yiffing all the fucking time, man. But, uh, uh, sexy gas mask. Yeah, I, I think Arik blacklisted us out of Apex again, which is a shame. I want to just talk to them and be like, yo. We can help you work on Apex. We need a combat, a lightweight combat viewer. The newer Apex that I got a hold of was crap, by the way. The one that I gave you guys because they decided to be shitheads and kick me out of the Apex group and crap. Like, 
all because uh, somebody gave me Apex and somebody decided to tell everybody that they gave me Apex, uh, which will everybody knows what happened, uh, and it's was pretty stupid. It was furry trying to get back at each other, and I was just like, I just wanted to test the viewer and see if there was anything good about it, because the older Apex that uh, Deli and Strelaco was were giving everybody was awesome. Like, I really liked. Uh, I understand why they haven't public released Apex in a while. Oh, that explains why my computer's performing like crap. It's Steam's updating. Um, anyway, uh, you know, when you public release something, you have to deal with people like being like, well, this is broken, this is broken. Like, when you have it closed to just a small group, then, you know, you can fix things as needed, and you can be like, hey, this is broken, and we know about it. We're going to fix it in the next update, you know? So... I get that. I I just feel like the way that they go about blacklisting people out of it once it's handed to them is a little spiteful. Um, I don't know. Like from what I've heard from certain people, they just they just don't trust you or see you like I don't know being successful. Which I don't know is kind of. Well, harsh. I mean, I'm more successful than Ark's ever been. So whatever. <laughs> Same with KBC, which is kind of funny. Yeah. I mean, um, the only thing Ark ever had going from is they had Moses, and Moses was able to make interesting systems. I mean, they were made; they were the first group to have flares and all those other uh, doodads and all the things. Well, yeah, but I he mean, was... making a hitbox phantom so it doesn't receive damage isn't necessarily all that. No, they had interceptors, hard. didn't they? No, I'm pretty sure that it just made that hitbox phantom so it wouldn't take damage. Like Dread and I were testing it by shooting bullets at it when they were deploying the flares, and it would stop receiving damage when the flares were being deployed. Oh, that's yeah. pretty good. Um, I want to see Mercs come back, man. Like, uh, just that, like, Lurden's been here every couple days. Like, he'll show up and see how things are going and then disappear again. He hasn't really, like, had anything bad to say. I I told him that the Blackjack and Hookers, we promised him, aren't here yet, but we're working on it. I think we got the Blackjack table out now, didn't we? Yeah, it's out. Okay, yeah, so we just need the Hookers and we're good to go. Uh, do you want me to stop recording? Uh, yeah, go ahead, Pyro. Okay.